pizza burgers, ham dogs, the McRice? Nobody would blame you for thinking these fast food burgers came from another planet. But the truth is, they're very, very real. Keep watching to find out more. Mm. Oh, God. This bite is better than the previous bite. Sweet and savory is a notoriously great pairing, if you know what you're doing, that is. This applies to burgers as well as anything else. So while you might not want to add a scoop of, say, vanilla ice cream to your cheeseburger, there are ways to add that extra tang. Peanut butter, a food with both sweet and salty flavors, is a great way of doing this. And a little bacon never killed anyone either, right? Your best bet for a fast food version of this wonderful idea is probably the aptly named Peanut Butter Bacon Burger from Shake Shack. The burger was briefly an official menu item at certain locations of the chain circa 2010, but has been known as a stalwart of the Shake Shack secret menu ever since. And even if they won't build one for you outright, you can always jerry-rig one yourself. All you need to do is order a shake burger with extra bacon and a side of their peanut butter sauce, which you can add yourself to complete this delightful treat. Whenever someone mentions fast food burgers, it's only a matter of time before McDonald's gets brought up. Though you'd expect such a massive chain to steer firmly away from anything but the most middle-of-the-road fare, Mickey D has been known to experiment every now and again. You might argue that if you're eating at McDonald's, it's always good to try some of the chain's more exotic offerings at least once, if only for the experience. However, if you had to choose just one, the McRice may very well be the way to go. McDonald's Japan dropped this seasonal menu item in 2020. Essentially, it delivers the familiar McDonald's taste in a bun that's made of soy sauce glazed rice. In a statement, the company said, While enjoying the usual burger taste, you can enjoy the usual burger taste while enjoying the exquisite harmony of a new flavor stemming from an unexpected combination. Crafted as an answer to customer preferences in the local, less bread-centric market, the rice burger was introduced in three varieties, including teriyaki, fried chicken, and bacon lettuce. The only drawback is that it appears to be a seasonal item of the McRib variety. So even if you find yourself in Japan, your trip might not coincide with a limited time availability. In that case, however, you can always peruse the rice burgers found at other chains, such as Moss Burger. Scene? Nashville, Tennessee. A man named Mark Murray was feeling peckish after a long night out, and since he couldn't choose between a burger and a hot dog, he acquired one of each. As he later explained, I was in the passenger seat munching away on the burger, and I decided to start on the hot dog at the same time. It was going everywhere. I said to my partner at the time, wouldn't it be easier if they joined these bloody things together? I think I then passed out, but the idea stuck with me. Murray started tinkering away, earned some initial publicity by appearing on Shark Tank Australia, and got his peculiarly shaped hamburger hot dog hybrid patented in 2009. The burger is essentially a combination of a bisected burger patty and a hot dog in a custom bun that can accommodate both, complete with all the appropriate toppings. His creation has reportedly been making waves in Australia as an event fast food item, and the official Ham Dog Facebook page contains gems such as this. Yes. The Ham Dog. Sorry, Elon Musk, someone beat you to the punch. Pizza and burgers are arguably the most iconic fast foods out there, so it's no surprise that someone has thought of combining the two. Can it really be done, though? Well, Burger King's arsenal has been known to contain the New York Pizza Burger, a 2,500-calorie monstrosity that combines the slice-of-pie delivery method of the pizza with that familiar Burger King taste. It also throws in a few strategic pizza-like tweaks, including mozzarella, marinara sauce, and pesto-flavored mayo. In the U.S., you could only get this giant burger shaped like a six-slice pizza at New York City's Burger King Whopper Bar, but it isn't currently available anywhere in the country. However, it appears to remain a part of their international arsenal and has been known to appear as a delivery-only special in regional markets. Another combination of the pizza and the burger comes courtesy of McDonald's. The Pizza Mac is a German basics menu item that consists of two burger patties, cheese, onions, a mozzarella spread, and some spiced tomato sauce, all inside a special cheesy pizza-style bun. This combination might sound odd, but it's definitely different enough from the Burger King version to count as its own thing. You might have to do a little bit of hunting to sink your teeth into this luscious abomination, though, as it appears to be a regional menu item. Still, the very fact that it exists in Germany means that it has a chance to turn up in other locations, too. If you do chance upon the opportunity to sample one, you'll likely be glad you did, 
In 2020, an insider reviewer sampled a chicken sandwich version of the Pizza Mac in a Finnish McDonald's location and praised the bun and the sauce to high heaven. When a burger goes viral, you know it's worth tasting. The ramen burger got its start in 2013 when Japanese-American ramen enthusiast Keizo Shimamoto introduced his $8 fast food creation at Brooklyn's Smorgasburg Food Market. His original version contains little more than noodle buns, a burger patty, some arugula, and scallion, and, in his words, trade secrets. Yet the sum total of these ingredients was a burger that's arguably one of the best food inventions of the 2010s. Oh my god, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's worth the wait. You'll absolutely want to try Shimamoto's version if you can, too. He's based in Southern California these days, and though his mission as of 2021 was to focus on more traditional ramen at his restaurant Ramen Shack, he'll probably whip out the ramen burger every now and then, too. Perhaps he'll even partner with the chain's restaurant for a large-scale release, like he did with Red Robin in 2016. While waiting for the ramen burger to re-emerge, however, you might do well to keep your eyes peeled for other versions of the theme. Shimamoto acknowledges that various proto-ramen burgers have been around long before his spin, and you do well to test whichever variety comes your way. Vegetarian and vegan burgers have been having a moment in recent years. Still, even now, it can be easy to approach the whole veggie burger thing as an either-or scenario. Either you go vegetarian, or you double down on the meat. Not so in BurgerFi, the innovative burger chain that's all too happy to serve you a conflicted burger. At first glance, this burger is a fairly regular double cheeseburger with lettuce, tomato, and the chain's take on secret sauce. And then you look at the patties and realize that one of them is a regular Angus beef patty, while the other is a vegetarian patty. It's a small yet groundbreaking choice that gives you the best of both worlds in the tastiest fashion. Conflicted Burger started its life as a secret menu item, but its immense popularity led BurgerFi to officialize its status on the menu. As such, if you're not into the arbitrary secrecy of the whole secret menu scene, you can now order one from the chain's regular menus. Mac and cheese is a comfort food. A good burger is a comfort food. What else is left to say? Curiously enough, though, fast food chains don't offer mac and cheese burgers as often as you would hope or assume, possibly because it's a good recipe for a straight-up mess. One of the most notorious examples of this delicious combination comes all the way from Japan, where the popular Moss Burger fast food chain rolled out the mac and cheese and croquette burger in 2021. Along with the mac and cheese, the burger replaces the traditional patty with a potato croquette and meat sauce. Messy? Probably. Delicious? Certainly. If either a trip to Japan or the whole croquette with meat sauce thing is a step too far for you, there are more traditional versions of the mac and cheese burger. For instance, fast casual chain Friendly's has been known to rock a bacon mac and cheese burger. Like the name suggests, this is a simple bacon cheeseburger with a generous portion of mac and cheese thrown between the buns for good measure. Donuts fit in your hand. Most burgers fit in your hand too, and donuts are roughly the size of burger buns. Now, if only some mad genius would use all this information to do something truly special. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! High-end burger restaurants have been known to deploy variations of the Luther Burger, which is essentially a cheeseburger with bacon and a Krispy Kreme donut instead of a regular bun. Burger King Sufgani King takes this concept and brings it into the fast food world with a delicious twist. Instead of a regular donut, the burger bun is replaced by two Sifganio donuts that are filled with ketchup instead of the usual jelly. Sadly, this literal burst of flavor may be somewhat tricky to acquire, seeing as it's a limited-time Hanukkah-seasoned burger that's only sold in Israel. Sometimes a unique fast food item is unique for a reason. KFC's Double Down is one of the more infamous examples of the kind of thing you won't find other fast food chains rushing to copy. However, KFC itself has seemingly doubled down on this all-meat sandwich creation. And while its popularity has been on the Wayne State side, the chain has been happy to experiment with its bizarre creation in other countries. In 2014, KFC Korea unleashed a double-down variation called the Zinger Double Down King. This burger-fied double-down variation basically consists of a burger patty, bacon, and sauce between two pieces of KFC chicken. Something about the sheer overindulgence of it all makes this burger kind of alluring, a bucket list item almost. While this particular item doesn't appear to be available in South Korean KFC locations at the moment, KFC Korea still has several curious Double Down creations on offer, so there's no telling when the Zinger Double Down King will make its comeback. Peninsular Malaysian KFC stores have also recently reintroduced various Double Downs in the menu, so who knows where they will pop up next. 
Sometimes, the dining experience is influenced by aesthetics just as much as it is by taste. While the fast food burger might still taste more or less like business as usual, a dramatic shift in color alone can make an otherwise unassuming burger rise above the competition. Failing that, it'll at least make for an interesting Instagram post. Enter the Burger King Halloween Whopper. This black bun treat is impressive looking and as tasty as you can expect from the king, and worth trying for the experience alone. Unfortunately, you might have a hard time finding one stateside. The Halloween Whopper was already a staple in Japan before it debuted in the US in 2015, but it became a major flop due to an unfortunate side effect that caused several eaters to have bathroom experiences that prominently featured the color green. As such, you might have to travel to places that still carry black burgers as seasonal items. Japan during Halloween is arguably the hotspot for these burgers, since both McDonald's Black Bun Squid Ink Burger and Burger King's Kuro Burger have been known to appear on local menus around that time. If you prefer something extra spicy, Burger King Thailand has also offered a Ghost Whopper, which is similar in appearance to the Halloween Whopper. Spooky, no? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.